Autodesk Showcase 2011 is an exciting tool for Autodesk that enables designers and marketing professionals to review designs in real time. One of the major strengths of Autodesk Showcase is its ability to produce real time rendering. So traditionally uh, the process may have been that the designer would have rendered out a number of uh, views, taken those into a meeting and then in the meeting if someone decided that they wanted to maybe change a colour and that colour wasn't already rendered you'd have to go back re-render the objects and then reconvene the meeting. Not, not particularly productive but with Showcase it's actually doing everything in real time. So you can see here as I manipulate the display how quickly uh, Showcase responds to that. Not only that, it's, it's actually the quality of the, of the materials and the reflections and the lighting. So if I just wait a few seconds here for it to anti-alias, you can now see the, the, the quality of re reflections. And again, this is all happening in real time. So part of the power of Showcase is its ability to import lots of uh, CAD files. So as an example here, if I go to the file menu and we say import models, and we have a look at some of the file formats that we can import through, let's just uh, make that smaller there. As you'd expect, we can import um, 3D models from Autodesk products, such as Inventor or ADS Studio or AutoCAD, but you'll notice there's support for other CAD products too, such as CATIA, um, Pro Engineer, yeah, Unigraphics, SolidWorks, and so on. So that's all pretty useful. And what happens is with Autodesk products, when we uh, import a 3D model, all of the materials will remain mapped on. Now, if I just quickly go into the materials area inside Showcase here. So these are some of the custom materials I've got. So I'll just uh, collapse that for a minute. Let's close that down. And we'll go and have a look at some of the material libraries here. So for example, if we come down and have a look at uh, just collapse that, make it a bit easier. If we have a look at the materials library here, this materials library is the standard Autodesk media materials library that's shared with products such as Revit, Inventor, AutoCAD. So as I've said, if you put materials on in AutoCAD, these materials here, the same materials are obviously used in Showcase as well. But how is is, is it to actually use these? Well, pretty straightforward. You know, you can actually select um, part of the model, like so. Uh, if we come down to some paints, for example, maybe these paints here. Um, if I wanted to apply a, a new paint style there, nice and easy, you just literally assign it to the selection. Yeah, and again, you can see how, how easy and quick that can be achieved. Let's just come out of the materials. Another great thing with uh, Showcase is when we're actually doing some presentations, we can have some, um, some model styles already pre-set up, and they're called design alternatives. So if we go into alternatives here, as an example, we're not just talking about um, changing colours, but we can also change the configuration of the model as well. So for example here, you can see we have a number of different uh, alloy wheel styles that we could actually start to review and change. Uh, we also have uh, different body styles as well. So you can see here we have uh, different grille configurations yeah, that we can very quickly go through. As far as the colorations go, well, yep, we can go through and actually amend and have a look at different uh, body styles as well. Yep. We also have uh, cross sections that we can use as well. Okay, so typically um, what cross sections are going to do, they're going to actually allow us to um, slice the model through. This was uh, new to Showcase uh, 2011. So that's quite useful as well. Then we also have um, positional lineups. Now, what these are enabling us to do is actually animate the model. So, for example, here you can see that I've just put a little animation there on the uh, the tailgate at the rear of the car. So you know you could you could obviously have the doors opening and closing and so on. Now, another good thing with Showcase is the environment that the, the, the car is sitting in. These are uh, high dynamic range uh, images that are brought together in Showcase using an FBX file for the uh, 3D environment. And then literally you can see the lighting is actually taken from that environment. But of course we can uh, change environments. We can obviously create our own environments as well. So just to give us uh, an, an example of some of the environments we've got, we'll swap out a different environment here. So now you can see Let's just close that down. So now you can see we have the car shown in daylight. Yep. 
and again you can see it uh, mapping the environment on the uh, the car bodywork there. Okay, let's go back to the environments again, and we'll go back to our standard night uh, night lighting. So the whole idea with Showcase is that you can set up, as we've said, these these design alternatives here very very quickly and easily. Um, I mean, it's really as simple as just literally going in and adding some colours, and then actually adding an alternative just by clicking a button here, and you can see that that then resides in the the list there. So when we're presenting this, we can go into uh, presentation mode. So you can see now what's happened is it's actually got rid of the the, the menus and and everything else. And then we can go into presentation mode if we want to. We can also configure Showcase to work with multiple monitors as well, or uh, multiple projectors. So you, you, you could have maybe um, an array of uh, flat screens on a wall, and you could actually get Showcase to uh, present the model on each uh, each monitor if we wanted to do that. So you can see uh, the multiple, multiple machines uh, shown in here. So that's given you uh, a, a quick introduction to Showcase, um, so you can see um, how useful that is for making design decisions.